Hello, my co-highs. Hope you're doing well. I am your host, Toronto Senpai, and welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic news video. Whew. Past two weeks, we kind of had a dry spell, but of course, with the holidays and New Year's and stuff like that, I imagine, you know, people want to hang out with their families and such, and so we didn't really get a whole lot of news. However, we're back, and we got quite a few exciting uh, reveals, including a pretty big announcement from... David Silva himself. So let's kick it off with this image here. Obviously, it's nothing new. It's the T-Rex packaging that we've seen constantly. But this is actually from the warehouse because as of yesterday, as a matter of fact, the Tyrannosaurus have started shipping. Uh, more specifically, the T-Rexes. So the Walking with Dinosaurs T-Rex, the Dino Riders T-Rex, and both the 180 scale and 135 scale T-Rexes are now shipping which is really exciting because that means I'll have a review sometime later this week. Yay! Yeah, this is really awesome to see like something that's um, been teased almost three years ago finally come into fruition. I'm so hyped about this and I can't wait to finally get my T-Rex and review it for you guys because that would be a fun time for everyone. Next up is the reveal of the Deinonychus Raptor Guard from the Desert Clan. And we know what color the raptors are going to be. It looks like the armor is going to be going to be like a bronze color, maybe. And the Deinonychus stuff is going to be like a very bright blue. I'm not sure what kind of animal the colors are inspired by. It could be any bird that's blue or anything. If, if you guys know what the color inspiration is, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, here we have a rough idea of what the figure is going to look like. So this Deinonychus looks very slim. It has a very long snout, very long thin snout, long neck, a curved tail, tail fan of course classic of the dromaeosaurs uh, i wonder if the claw on the toe will have articulation or not um this is going to be a larger raptor so it's probably going to it's definitely going to be bigger than the velociraptor and line raptor one of these scale figures it's probably going to be around the size of the guan long or the pro ceratosaurus i'm not sure yet but we have seen like how they scale up of course we have the weapons here we have a wireless receiver here on the back we have heavy artillery mini guns on the sides we have D two DA power blasters. I, I can't really see what that is. Uh, rear thruster details down here on the side. And of course, all the weapons it is equipped with. And then here we have a closer look at the Raptor with the armor on. We have solar blades. We have short range blasters. Short, uh, we have weapon storage plates, accessory storage cells, rocket launchers, mini guns. This is all very foreign to me, but this is still pretty cool stuff. And of course we have the different forms the armor can take. So we got this one with the guns in the front, one with the guns in the back, and then with just a singular gun over here. And then of course we have the Deinonychus by itself standing right alongside a human. Because this is a one in scale figure, this is pretty proportionate. I'm imagining that this is probably, again, gonna be the size of Guanlong or Prosperatosaurus. Don't know yet, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the reveal of the Deinonychus and um, the armor that's shown here. And for our last bit of news, we have our first ever tease from the Beast of the Cenozoic line. And it is quite obvious what this is. Judging by the saber tooth, we are looking at Smilodon or the saber tooth cat, which is really exciting stuff. Um, I should make it clear that David Silva has mentioned that the jaw won't be able to articulate. Instead, they'll have multiple heads you could put on the figure. So I'm hoping that it's not a case of SH Monsters where you only get like one additional head accessory like with Kong 2022 or uh, Godzilla Ultima. I'm hoping we get multiple heads, like one where the mouth is closed, one where it's snarling, one where it's roaring. You know, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, it does kind of limit us as, you know, stop motion animators and things like that, but it'd still be pretty nice. Anyway, guys, that's all the news I really got to cover for Beast of the Mesozoic this week. So let me know what you guys think of the Smilodon, the Deinonychus, and are you hyped for the, for the T-Rex about to come out? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But until next time, this is where I'm going to have to end the video. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord and my Twitch in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyranno Senpai signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.